When I think about Granny, I can see her sitting on her front porch singing. I can hear her singing Young Emily. Young Emily was a pretty fine man. She loved the driver boy who drove the stage from a golden gate way down in the lowland. She sang ballads that told stories. When she wasn't singing, she was always working on her farm. I remember walking with her down the rocky road that led to the barn where she milked the cow. She tried to teach me to do it, but I could never get the milk to come out. I'd spend the night with her and wake up to the smell of coffee brewing in the kitchen. What I remember most is sitting beside her in a wooden rocker on the front porch with a warm breeze blowing through our hair. Sometimes, after supper, people would come over and play music, tell stories, and play a card game called setback. Granny would encourage me to clog for people when they'd come to visit. When I was a child, my parents took me to an annual event held in Marshall by the French Broad Electric Membership Co-op. They had held this event for decades. My mom left me there with Granny, and she put me down and told me to clog to the music that was playing. I was given a silver dollar for my performance. When I was a teenager, Granny and I was invited to perform at a festival in Washington, D.C. Mom didn't want me to go. She was afraid because I was so young and no one in my family had ever flown on a plane. But Granny insisted, and she convinced my mom to let me go. Growing up, I didn't think about singing ballads. All I wanted to do was clog. After I was grown and married, I started singing in church. I never sang ballads, only church songs. But after Granny died, I was invited to sing at a memorial ballad singing to honor my Granny. I sang Young Emily, and I was right back on Granny's front porch. Young Emily was a pretty fair miss. She loved the driver boy who drove the stage from a lowly gate way down in the lowland low. Her father lived in a public house on yonder shore. Go ye, go ye, there in her inn, and there abide the night. <laughs>